Pretty Brick Lover 18 here today with another LEGO review and today's review is of set number 70802, Bad Cops Pursuit. This set is ages 7 to 14, has 314 pieces. It is in the LEGO Movie line. This set comes with this awesome railroad track area there. Uh, the uh, SWAT car, flyer, whatever you call it. Two alligators and two minifigures. Let's take a look at the minifigures now. First minifigure on scene here we have Bad Cop and right now the face, he's double sided face and he is so mad. Emmett just got away. He's got front printing, the Bad Cop front printing. I'm going to move his little flasher out of the way, we'll talk about that in a minute. That's his front printing and this is his back printing. He does have this white helmet on which is pretty cool. Same helmet as the LEGO Movie series I believe. And here's the other side face, he's so happy. He's like. Hey guys, or hey buddy, or so, whatever he says in the Lego movie. I can't, it's been so long since I've seen that movie, I don't remember. The really cool feature here with Bad Cop is his gun, and it wasn't until, like I'm going to say this a lot in the review, it wasn't until I built it where I realized the cool feature of it, it shoots. It actually shoots this little stud. I thought I when I put the stud in during the building process, I thought it was for decoration, not the stud, but this little thing. I thought it was literally just for decoration, and it wasn't until I it said don't shoot it. It had you know the little picture of the kid like ah with his eye closed. It wasn't until that I'm like oh my gosh does it shoot? And the answer is yes it does, and it shoots fast. It doesn't hurt or anything, but I guarantee you will want several of these studs because you will lose them if you do go to play with the set. I've already lost a few even before I did this review because I think it was so cool I started shooting people with it because I think it's it's fun. And here we go the second and the last minifigure is Emmett. He has printing on both his legs and his torso as well as back printing. On his face here he's just got like the half smile like I'm a cool dude look. And we're going to turn him around and you're not going to be able to see the back printing at first because plus he topples over because of his piece of resistance on his back so we'll take it off and that's all the printing you're going to see it's the same on any Emmett figure it's like it's pretty standard and it's going to be a lot of work to take the head off and stuff on video so this is what the back pe uh, face looks like he's really scared that's for when oh you're going to find out when that's for during the video I think you'll pretty much notice when Emmett falls into the alligator pit but I'm not giving away any spoilers before we take a look at the rest of the set, which you all really want to do, so I'm going to hurry up, we are going to look at the alligators. There are two alligators included in this set, and they are both police alligators because they have sirens. They must have walkie-talkies and guns hidden somewhere. Not really sure. We'll move the one out of the way because they are identical. The, the alligator is just, you know, sitting here, and its mouth does open all the way to snap its prey. You get him, and the tail does move in a 180 kind of degree. I guess it's not even 180, but it, the tail does wag, and we have the sirens, the lights, all that cool stuff there. Now for you all been waiting for, the rest of the set. Now that you have seen the minifigures in the set, let's take a look at this railroad track. So starting at the bottom here, it is just a basic, like, ground, I guess you call it. There's some tan for some sand, I'm guessing, you know, some rocks and some dirt here. More rocks, and uh, like a frog over here, just chilling, and then this is supposed to be water, I'm guessing. And then there are these supports to hold the track up. And it's very cool. As you can see, it's a very rickety old track, so if a train came along, it might it would obviously fall off the edge because it's not continued because it's been broken for so long. But this is a very cool feature that I didn't even notice until after the set. I was wondering when I during the building process, like, what is this for? But it is very cool, and it's for when Emmett is actually, I believe, I'm guessing, running across the train track. Oh my gosh, it broke. And it is so cool, and the, te the technic in it, I guess you could say, the pins and stuff, make it so it just pops right back up, and breaks right back apart. It is very cool. I'll show you the bottom of this. It's kind of hard to show you what, oh, there we go. You just pull it back, the technic thing falls out, and you just push it and I just think that is so cool I think that adds such a cool feature to the set it makes it so much more play playable I don't even know if that's a word so 
say the bad cops chasing Emmett and he's at the end here oh no I where do I go it's a like I hope I don't fall into the alligator pit below like and then it just the play feature designs it so it just breaks and then it falls and I just think it's I think it's really cool and I guess if you wanted to you could continue the track and drive your train off the track if you're crazy but you can do whatever you want with your Lego set because you know what it's it's Lego and it's not illegal so you won't be on criminal minds for driving your train off the track here is bad cops car place thingy here it is very cool it is pretty it's not light but it's not heavy it's for a vehicle I mean it's pretty good um, it's I love how it's because you can tell it's the like an airplane type thing because it's just so slopes so the wind can just fly right off of it we have the super secret police logo here going up the front you can see this little windshield open it up here to take out bad cop you've seen him already but I'm just gonna take him out so you can see the inside no control panel or anything just the steering wheel to drive then this back motor I guess sirens here Nothing at the back, kind of looks like I thought at the first that maybe there was a trunk or something, but it's not, just uh, just the detailing. And then at the back here you can see where the jets are, and I really like this use of snot, studs not on top building method, where they have the hub, uh, hubcaps, I think they're called, or mud guards, or what, I'm not a truck person as you can tell. And then the continued the slopes all the way back, and on each side we have these two super secret police printed slopes. And the cool feature with them is they actually pop up to reveal not only missiles or shooters or guns. And this is, I think this is a really cool feature. It's a hidden feature and I didn't know about it until after building. So it is very cool so it can like shoot them I guess. You, it doesn't actually shoot them. But if you wanted to, you could make it shoot them. But I, I think it's just the idea that it would be cool even if you could shoot them. Spring loaders. If somebody could, if you could make this into a mock with spring loaders, like that would be really cool. And this moves. I don't think it's supposed to. I just think it just does. And then there's, this is what the bottom of it looks like. Along with just some whatever there. And it is just a very... Oops, sorry about that. It is just a very cool car. Thank you all so much for watching this review of set number 70802, Bad Cops Pursuit. This set has 314 pieces and it is 7214. I think this is a really cool set and there's actually a lot of play features in this set. And I especially like how the track pulls apart to break down so Emmett can fall towards the alligator pit. That is a cool feature. I don't really remember that in the movie, so I'm going to have to go back and rewatch it and see, hey, is that really in it or is, hey, did Lego make that up? I don't know. I really like all the features that are in the SWAT car. I, I can't incorporate that into my city so much as it's just really cool to have and I can't wait to display it on my Lego shelves that I have in my Lego room. It is a very, very cool set. So as I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the set, what you thought of my video, or just any suggestions that you have for my video. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other videos. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day.